Right, so we're here in Donetsk now. This is the main restaurant uh, that we've got set up on the 20th floor. So basically the players will arrive, <clears throat> they go to their floors, and then they'll come up here for the, all their meals. So it's a completely private restaurant for them. I'll just take you through and show you how we set it up. As you can see, the stadium's just there. So we've got a great view of the stadium as well. This is uh, the manager's table. So the manager sits here with all of his staff here. This is the extra staff table, players table. So you've got 23 players that sit together. Try and keep them all together all the time as, as long as the room uh, allows it to do that. So this is quite an ideal room because it's got, it's quite airy, it's quite light and it just uh, puts them in a good mood before the game really. Over this side here we do a pasta bar and we have a chef actually working over there as well which will basically do any pasta they want. So we have like a bolognese sauce, uh, a fresh tomato sauce, a fresh mushroom sauce with no cream base in it um, and then the players will come up and ask for linguine, penne or spaghetti and the chef will just do a little bit of theatre inside there for them and uh, straight under their plates for them. This is the setup that we've got here. Um, we have a dessert section, protein section, uh, then we also have a vegetable section and salad section which is here. So basically the players will just come in, all the food will be laid out for them uh, and then they'll basically just help themselves to whatever they want. Uh, and the food being sort of 25 different salads, uh, we do four different main courses, uh, four to five different vegetables. So they've got a variety of what they can choose from, um, which makes it a lot easier. And it's not constantly the same food all the time. We try and change it up. And this is the kitchen that we're working with here. At the moment, we're just getting all the sauces ready, uh, all the basic foods ready before, before they come, so that when they do come, we can put the fresh salads out, lay out the fresh meats and stuff like that. So it's just a matter of getting the system right and the timing right to when we put it out. There's so much choice, there's not really anybody that really is fussy or anybody that really wants anything different because of the choice being there. So, uh, you know, they can literally have a different choice every day if they want to. But basically, a lot of them just stick with the chicken, um, stick with the pasta sort of two or three days before a game. It's such an important part of, of what they do because if they don't really feel right, then, then it's, not, it's not a viable thing. A player can feel lethargic, um, not refreshed not dehydrated, so it's all a matter of getting every balance right. But each player really knows their own bodies. Sometimes I just get some suggestions from the guys. Uh, if they're getting, if it's a long tournament, like a World Cup or this, where it, it does repeat slow, slightly with the, with the actual meats that we use, but not, not the sauces and stuff like that, they might just throw in a suggestion of what we want to do. Like last week when we was in Kiev, we've done chicken Kievs, obviously. So, and all the boys like them. Just by doing different things like that, it just keeps their spirits up as well. And I think it's so important to have the, the right food because if it's not the right food, then they're, they're going to be you know, a little bit angry with not eating the right foods all the time because all they basically do is train, sleep, eat and play football.